Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove noise, hiss, hum, and electronic static noise from your recordings, whether they're DI into your audio interface or recorded through a microphone. I'm going to be demonstrating the technique on some guitar and also my voice which I've recorded into a microphone. This technique is very straightforward and very quick and it saved an awful lot of my recordings. This denoising trick is very powerful because it doesn't just remove the noise from before and after the audio, it removes the noise from within all of the audio. So let's just get straight into it and find out how to do it. So I'm inside FL Studio 20 and I have the raw guitar signal on the top with the noise and I have the raw vocal at the bottom with the noise. I'm just gonna start with the guitar and then we'll do the same steps on the vocal. So I'm just gonna play the guitar on its own and you'll hear all the static and noise at the start of the sample, but also throughout the sample. Especially at the end here, you just hear a lot of hiss and hum. Sometimes a little bit of noise is okay, but in this case, I want to get rid of all the noise. So it's very straightforward. Double click, and the wrapper is gonna open up here. Then in this waveform view, right click, and then press edit. It will now be opened up inside this Edison window. And in case your view doesn't look exactly the same as mine, left click up here and make sure that you've selected spectrum and you'll see all the noise. So what we want to do now is select an area that only has the noise. So I'm going to left click and drag and then press the space bar to listen to it. That's only the noise, so I'm gonna use this as a noise profile. Now there's only two steps now. You go up to this icon here that looks a bit like a toothbrush and you right click to acquire the noise profile. So you right click, it says noise profile acquired, and then what you do is you select the entire sample that you want to be denoised, and now you left click, and it brings up this clean up or denoise tool. Now it looks quite complicated, but don't worry about it. There's only really two or three buttons or dials you need to worry about. The first is the amount, so how much denoising. All the way to the right, no noise. All the way to the left, all of your noise. So let's start somewhere in the middle, and then you press preview to see if it sounds good. You might think that you want to go all the way over to the right, but sometimes this can sound a little bit unnatural. The guitar sounds like it's underwater. So let's just back it off to just about there, and I'm going to accept that. Now the denoiser has applied the denoising profile, and what you can see is that beforehand you can visibly see all of this noise, and then you can see that it's been denoised. And if I press play, you can see that as soon as you get to hear, all the noise just cuts away. So what I'm gonna do is select the section that's been denoised, and I'm going to press this button, click and hold with a left click, and drag it onto the playlist. I'm going to quickly align it with the previous audio, rename it, and color it. Let's take a quick comparison between the two. So I'll start with the guitar with the noise, and then I'll click to the one without. And it's just a night and day difference. Now, sometimes if you denoise it too much, it starts sounding underwater and unnatural, but this is just the perfect amount of denoising. And where this technique really comes into its own is when you start adding more effects onto the signal. If you add maybe EQ to brighten it up and add some reverb, you'll notice that the clean one kind of handles these, whereas the one with too much noise at the start, it just sounds really low quality. So let's start with the clean one this time and then change to the raw one. It's just such a huge difference between the two samples. Now I would want to say sometimes that lo-fi, low quality sound is actually what you need in your song, but for times when you just want that crystal clear clarity, this is where this technique is going to help you. So let's go on to the second example, which is using uh, my voice just as a voiceover, just to show that this doesn't just work with a direct signal from a guitar, it also works with a microphone. Now I had a lot of hiss and hum in the room, and I also ran it through a tape machine just to add even more hiss and hum to it. And this is what the raw sample sounds like. Let's see if we can clean up this dialogue and make it sound better. Wow, I sound annoying, but let's clean that up. So it's exactly the same process. Double left click in this window here, right click, edit, 
Look at that, crazy amount of noise. Now we need to select a bit with only noise, and this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because it wasn't direct. There's room noises, maybe hits and stuff like that. So let's find a bit with just the noise. My chair creaked there. There was like a, a random sound here. So I wanna just get a bit just with noise. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Same process. Right click here to acquire the noise profile. And then I'm gonna select the area that I want to be denoised, which is all of it. I'm gonna left click. The denoising tool opens up and let's just preview it. Let's see if we can clean up this dialog and make it sound better. I don't think that was enough denoising, so I'm just gonna push it a little bit further. Let's see if we can clean up. I've then accepted the settings just like last time and you can see that it's been denoised. So I'm gonna start in the noise section and you can visibly see and you'll hear it that it cuts off. That's brilliant. So now I'm just gonna select the whole area by left clicking and dragging, pressing this button up here, dragging it onto the playlist. I'm just gonna spend a moment to align this and color it. Let's do a comparison. So I'll start on the noisy one and then I'll go to the clean version. Let's see if we can clean up this dialogue and make it sound better. Let's see if we can clean up this dialogue and make it sound better. And again, that's a huge difference. And I don't think that I've lost any of the tonal qualities of my voice so that it sounds underwater or any more annoying than it did. And I often use this technique to remove a lot of noise from my tutorial audio. And just like previously with the guitar, if I was to add effects to this, it would just start getting worse and worse on the raw vocal. If I apply compression, which I always do to my voice, all that low level hiss and hum is gonna be brought up because those peaks are gonna be taken down and all of that noise is just gonna become even louder and louder. Whereas in the clean vocal, the noise is not there. So you don't need to worry about it. I do have one or two other tips though. One is that if you don't have a section of the noise on its own, because maybe you've trimmed the audio, maybe just try to get creative. So maybe create some static noise or download a, a wave file with some hum or hiss on it and try to use that as a noise profile. I heard someone recorded some like electrostatic noise from their TV and use that as a noise profile and it worked very well. So you can get creative with it. And I also wanted to say that while you can just trim the noise from the sides of your audio, you know, before the audio starts, before that guitar hit or before the word, this technique removes the noise from the entire audio clip. I'm also putting together a video which is going to be trying to get your cheaper or more affordable microphone to sound more expensive or high end and this is probably going to be featured in that video. I'm hoping to have that one done in just a couple of days. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one too. Bye for now.